I've been looking at some ways to improve org mode source blocks, especially using Python. Let me show you basically uh, one of the issues that I've seen in a class that I'm teaching. I have in the middle of the screen here a source block that's going to integrate a simple differential equation dy dx equals minus k times y. If we run this, an experienced Python user might realize right away k is not defined here. Unfortunately, when we run this through org mode, it silently fails and gives us an answer we know to be incorrect. So I've been interested in various ways to improve this, and one of the ways that we could do this is if we edit this in an external editor. So I created the edit in canopy function. So let's look at running this now where we edit it in canopy. So we just run a command with the cursor in the block. Canopy will launch. And we have here, if we try to run it, here we actually get much better feedback down at the bottom. And we can even see exactly where the problem is. So we go up, up here and maybe say k equals 1. And now if we run this again, we get an answer that makes sense. All right, we can even check the answer. Okay, and that tells us that we're correct. Here I can just save this now, and then we quit. And what it's going to do now is, is insert that back into my code block and then rerun it, and you can see that my answer here is correct. Now we could also just run uh, that canopy command, edit in canopy, and it will, if we're not in a code block, it will still launch a terminal and the editor. Here I'll just type in, say, print hello. We can run this here, see that it works, save and quit, and we will get automatically created for us a new code block in our buffer. So we can still use org mode for all of our content generation, reporting, to capture the results like this, but use an external editor um, below. Now if you saw the last post, you know that I created a function that would uh, give me some advice. So if I activate that advice uh, and I go up here and delete this and try to run it, then I will actually get some feedback that says there's an undefined name in here, K, which I can click on and take me directly to the line where it's defined. And I could say K equals one in here, run it again. And now it's going to work. Uh, you can see there's too many blank lines here. There should be two. Missing space after comma. Uh, I guess that's been moved. Oh, that's that space is right here. Uh, trailing white space. Right there, you can see we had extra white space. And probably here, there is some characters at the end right there. And if we run this again, then we get only one uh, element from PyLint, and that tells us that argument x is unused, but we know that is the case uh, because our differential equation does not depend on x. So that's the uh, e example of using edit in Canopy, uh, where we use an external editor for a code block instead of using built-in uh, capabilities uh, within Emacs.